for my breakfast today, I am going to be going out and taking this cranberry orange muffin with me. I'm leaving it in its package until I'm ready to eat it. It is frozen, but it will defrost in no time. For my lunch, um, I'm going to be having this pure protein bar. It's the lemon cake. It has 20 grams of protein. It has 2 grams of uh, net carbs and 190 calories. The fat content is good on these. Um, sorry about that. I should have taken the box. Let me see if I can see it. 7 grams and 4 grams of um, saturated fat. I will put pictures of front and back of this on my Facebook page post later on tonight. I'm also taking one hard-boiled egg, which is already peeled and in the container. This is just to show you. And so I don't forget to tell you, I'm taking my almond milk with me in my little um, container here for my coffee, which I know I'll be having when we're out. And this is my afternoon snack, the usual apple that I'm in the apple kick. And uh, that's about 75 calories for a small carb. And these two uh, low fat cheese sticks will be 100 calories. They're 50 calories a piece. And in here is my jug of water I've made myself um, my one-a-day anti-inflammatory water with the lemon, the apple cider vinegar, and the stevia. So that's it for now. I also packed up two tablespoons of my Skinny Girl balsamic vinaigrette for five calories, so that's free. And I don't count my almond milk. By now, if you watch me long enough, you know I don't count the almond milk for my coffee. Okay, I'll be back. Sorry for the background noise. Jim and I are here at the Danbury Mall. I got Chick-fil-A. This is the Southwest salad. It is 250 calories. If I don't put any goodies on, which I'm not going to, I'm going to use my own dressing. So, what's in here? Chicken breast grilled, Monterey Jack cheese, tomatoes, and some black beans and lettuce. It looks really good and it's very big. I don't know if you can tell from looking at this, but it's a big salad. So, I'll be back with dinner. I just wanted to show you that it also has the um, queso fresco, I guess that is, that cheese. And um, it has corn. Very fresh and delicious so far. So this is the result of our visit to Primark over at the Galleria Mall in Danbury today. Uh, these are very inexpensive by comparison to anything that I can see in any store that I have... Um, the option to shop in. I usually buy my bedding from uh, HSN or QVC and do very well, but I couldn't pass this up, even if it's just a wash and doesn't last too long kind of thing. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm happy to have it for the summer. Um, so what do we have? Just a plain pink comforter. This is king size and it was $20. It was previously $28. It's very nice. Um, I think I'll enjoy having it. And then I couldn't pass up, this was $30 reduced to 20. This is a quilt set. So what I'll be doing is putting this quilt set on and it also has pillow shams. And then I'll be having my comfort over it because once we put on the uh, central air, it doesn't go off until we put heat on again, just about. So I like to have a quilt underneath the comforter. Um, so we have extra warmth if we need it and if not we just knock the comforter off anyway too many details right sorry so these pillowcases were uh three dollars for two reduced from five so i bought them because we have lots of pillows on our bed so um normally we have like six pillows give or take and then i got these my microfiber sheets they were ten dollars reduced to seven dollars and they aren't pink, but they blend nicely and they're going to be fine. I'm not really worried about it when it comes to that. So I think that we did very well with the what we paid. Again, the quality is probably not there, but it'll be okay. Uh, I'm sure we'll get good use out of it. And then I bought myself some more lip gloss. These are three different shades. If you can tell, I don't know. Uh, these were $3.50 marked to $2 a piece. I have never tried this brand. I normally use Burt's Bees or I use Bare Minerals. Or Alme or something like that, but for two bucks a piece, if they're no good, I'll open one and then I can donate the other two. 
And so what did we pay in total? Let's see. The tax in Connecticut is 6.35, unlike here in New York where it's about nine. So we saved a little bit on that. And a grand total for all of this was $76.57 with tax. So I don't know where you're going to even get a comforter set for that money. And we also have bought um, quilt sets in um, Sam's Club, I want to say. The last one we bought, it's beautiful. Very nice quality. But that was even reduced. I think it was over $50. So, again, I think we'll get use out of this. Um, I'd like to know if anybody knows what Primark is and if you have one in the area where you live. To my knowledge, it's a European store, and I think it's popular in Great Britain, but don't quote me on that. If anybody knows, please make a comment. I appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. For my dinner tonight, I decided to go with the uh, steamed great value broccoli florets, and that's about a cup to a cup and a half there. And I'm having these vegetable pot stickers. Um, I'll move this aside. I put the, I put two tablespoons of the teriyaki uh, GU's marinade for 10 calories, so that's free. And these pot stickers, not a fan, not after having those um, mini dumplings that they have. These pass, but I wouldn't buy them again. And they're a lot more calories, not as good a bang for your calorie bank. So anyway, let me turn these over. So four of them are 130 calories. So I'm having um, six of them and that's going to make a power fuel and a smart carb for my dinner. And um, I just steam them in the microwave. Basically, after I cook the broccoli, I put everything together, put the sauce on it, put a paper towel over top and saran wrap and then the cover, the microwave cover. And I cooked it for like, I don't know, two to three minutes, something like that. Okay, on to dessert. For dessert tonight, I made myself a cottage cheese cookie parfait. You can't see the cookies on the bottom here, but I crushed up this bag of cookies, which is the Nutrisystem chocolate chip. These are shelf stable. They're 140 calories for the bag, and the bag is 1.3 ounces. And we have three and a half, six grams of fat in total, three and a half saturated fat, 18 carbs, three fibers, and seven proteins in this little bag of cookies. So what did I do? I crushed up, I saved two to the side. I crushed up the remainder of the bag. I put some in the bottom and what I did with my, I'm adding in this cottage cheese because I still need a power fuel with my dinner and I couldn't figure something out. And I remembered I had cottage cheese. So I said, okay, that works. So I took one and a half servings of this cottage cheese and it's 105 calories for that. So I'm counting that as a power fuel. I added in some of this uh, swerve confectioner sugar to taste. I also added in some of my Hobbyland cheesecake flavoring drops, about 10 drops, and a smidge of the Mexican vanilla flavoring. Mixed it all together. And so then I took the cookies, layered cookies, cottage cheese, the rest of the cookies on top, two tablespoons of the whipped topping, which is 25 calories and counts as a, an extra and the sugar-free great value chocolate syrup is free so there you have it folks i will be back to talk to you a little bit about today's lunch well hello my friends if you've made it this far i must really thank you for watching my video and ask you please if you enjoy the content to give me that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so uh it is free I know some people don't like to put themselves out there, but um, a lot of people that watch, I appreciate all of you that watch, subscribed or not, but are not subscribed. Um, so anyway, I'm at 98 people. We're over 500 people in the Facebook group at this point. People are coming out of the woodwork, and I think it's wonderful because the more the merrier, you know. We all can share and help each other and give each other support, recipes, hacks, whatever. It's great. So, um, pardon me. What did I want to talk about? Well, Jim and I, as you know, went out today. And this morning I had a plan 
a flexible plan, but I did have a plan before I left the house and I had my tools in my toolbox, I'll call it, which is my lunch, my lunch sack that comes with me when I go out. And my plan was that I was going to have that muffin for breakfast. I was going to have an AM uh, power fuel, which would have been the hard boiled egg. I also had a PM snack, which was going to be the two cheese sticks and the apple. And I was going to have no vegetables. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I bought dressing because my plan was to order a side garden salad um, and to have my bar. And what ended up happening was totally different. And it was great because the main thing for me is that I had my, my backup plan or my first plan. And then if I changed it up, it would be a conscientious change up. It would not be an impulsive, I'm starving, I didn't bring anything kind of thing. Because for me, that's really critical. Because when I go out, if my blood sugar starts dropping, I'm not a diabetic or anything, but I tend toward hypoglycemia. I am in big trouble. I need to eat. And it's usually, it's not going to be something that is the healthiest. It definitely won't be on plan. It'll be whatever I can get, you know, wherever I might be. And that's usually when I make impulsive, poor decisions. So anyway, Jim and I decided to try Chick-fil-A. I've never had it. We don't have any in our area. So I said, okay, like, why don't we try that? We looked at the menu and, um, I saw that they had this, um, Southwest salad, I think it's called. And it said something about 450 calories. And then it listed with toppings. When I looked it up online, it said with toppings is 600 cal, 690 calories. That's like more than half of my daily allowance of calories on Nutrisystem. So anyway, I was prepared. The chicken was delicious. There was no sauce. It wasn't saucy. It was grilled. It was um, roasted chicken breast, very thinly sliced, just like I like it. And in there was, I think, um, I don't remember what the white cheese is called. Queso, is it queso fresco? I, I'm not sure. But there was a white cheese, there was Monterey Jack cheese, and there was black beans and there was corn. So I just decided, and this is where I did a little bit of thinking, that I didn't have my muffin for breakfast. We did have coffee on the way, but I didn't want to start breaking out a muffin while I'm driving. And I, I really, I figured I'll have it when I get there, and then I didn't, and then it became lunchtime. So. Um, what I did is I took my breakfast power fuel and smart carb and I took my lunch power fuel and smart carb and that became my lunch. That's literally what I figured this salad at 450 calories comes out to be. And it's like 3.75. Um, so I'm going to go with four, two of each because I think that that's what that salad was. It had a, it was definitely two power fuels because it had a lot of chicken, and then I figure okay the black beans and the corn, and um, there wasn't very much cheese. It wasn't even very noticeable, so that could be to me like an extra. Or even if you want to say another power fuel, I did have it in my budget, so it wasn't a big deal to me. I ended up having my egg after I had my lunch in between because we got home late, which helped me to be able to come home. And think about dinner that's what happens in the afternoon sometimes if my dinner is usually not till seven okay so I had the egg and I said okay I'm gonna eat that egg and I'm very happy I did and then I made my dinner so let's look at the flip side of this if I am only if I only had available to me the least amount of calories at Chick-fil-a and I had no other options in the mall or where we only had Chick-fil-a available to us what was I going to do if I didn't have my salad? I mean, my dressing. I would eat the salad without the dressing. And I certainly would not have. These are seasoned tortilla chips, 70 calories, 4 grams of fat. Now, somebody might say, well, you know, um, it's got 1 gram of dietary fiber. I could count this as a small carb. Yes. 
but not already on top of when you have beans and corn in there, right? So I might save this for another day. I might use it. I might not. I might use half of it and, and on top of one of my salads. That would be fine. That's 35 calories. That's an extra, right? That's an option. What do we have here? We have chili lime pepitas. These little seeds, right? 80 calories. 7 grams of fat. 1 saturated fat. 2 carbs. 1 gram of dietary fiber and four proteins. So this also, half of this could go on my salad. And I could, or a little less than half, you know, I could weigh it out in grams and be specific to make it 35 calories. And I could have this twice and a little left over. Again, on a separate salad. This, I'm not gonna have ever. Jim will probably be enjoying this at some point. This is fat free. Sounds really healthy and, you know, maybe not healthy to some, but it sounds like it should be something if you see it on a sign that you would choose if you are on a meal plan trying to lose weight, right? Well, guess what? This package is 90 calories. I, I won't do a dressing that has 90 calories. And this is two ounces, which I think is a lot. I would have to divide it out in grams. It's 50. I'd have to do the math on this to see if I would even try it. But as it stands now, if I only if I didn't have dressing with me, my option and I could have eaten that salad without dressing. It was the chicken was very flavorful. It would have been fine. But I want a dressing. You want a dressing. You're out. You want a dressing. So you think this is great, and then it's not so great. Now, could you eat half of this? And just not worry about it and say, okay, I used up my extras for the day, something like that. Yes, you could. But that for me, that isn't, wasn't an answer and wouldn't be an answer because this would kill me if I had to eat this and, and consciously eat this. Um, this is not something that I would desire to do with that amount of calories. And let me see, does it have the fat? Oh, it doesn't have, oh yeah, it says fat free. Oh, forgive me. What am I thinking? It has one dietary fiber and 23 carbs. I don't know why, maybe it's just the amount that's in here. But again, you're out. Are you gonna be able to really measure this? What, do you, what are we doing here, you know? Some things to me, I like to avoid a problem. And the way that I do that is by going out prepared. I try my best to do that. I've been doing that for a very long time, um, way before Nutrisystem, actually several years now. So. Why did I want to do all this long-winded talking about this? Is basically the bottom line is that, pardon me, your smart carbs and your power fuels are supposed to be in every two hours. I don't know if everybody does it that way. I don't do it that way. You probably figured that out by now. There are some days I don't have them all because I just don't eat if I'm not hungry. Um, there may be days where I have some extra. I haven't really conscientiously done that, but it could happen. I know it happens with my vegetables. If I Like today, I had six vegetables. That salad was humongous, and I ate everything. I ate all of it. It was delicious, including the grape tomatoes. They were very, very fresh. Everything was very good. I normally don't even eat those. Um, so if we want to go out, we can go out. We just have to find out the most cost-effective way like in Weight Watchers, they call things expensive, meaning that points-wise, it's expensive. So in our case, those of us on Nutrisystem are following the formula, it is expensive in terms of power, how expensive is something in terms of your power fuels and your small carbs for the day. And do you want to keep in the actual formula guidelines of the 80 to 120 thing and how much fat is in it kind of thing? You know, how strict do you want to be when you're out? Because sometimes... Again, you know, you might go somewhere and you might not have a choice. So you do the best with what you have for that meal, I guess, right? That's all we can do. But I thought um, I wanted to go over this because it, this was my day today and uh, my day of eating. And I thought I would share the things that I thought about that maybe somebody else um, could benefit from that. Just give you food for thought. Literally, not literally food for thought, but you, you get my gist of how you could take these and use them in other ways, but you don't want to eat. I mean, I did not want to do that. Maybe somebody else would be like, okay, I'm going to wing it today. I'm going to have the 690 calories. And that's without the dress. No, that's with this dressing. There are other dressings they had. Um, but I only did the one that I 
picked, obviously. So on that note, um, I hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. We didn't talk about Mother's Day. It's, it seems like it was eons away already. I did. Um, and truth be told, I'm happy all these holidays are over now until we have Memorial Day. Hoping that I don't go to a barbecue on Memorial Day. Literally, because I want to just get on track. I want to stay on track and I want to get the rest of this weight off. And I, I need to do this religiously now. I need to start doing my get fit with Rick. I need to do get up into the 14,000s in my steps a day. Today, I did... 8,306. Maybe by the time I go to sleep, it'll get 10, it'll get to 10,000. But for me to finish this off and reach my goal, I have to do certain things. And I would like to not have any more holidays so that I can focus. I don't know how you feel, but that's how I feel. And on that note, I'm going to thank you once again for watching. And I'm going to say, I'll see you in the next video. And bye now. Mm -hmm.